Hello everyone, my name is Randy. I'm here at Dora County Coffee. I'm in here in the Coffee College here at Dora County Coffee. Uh, this is a place where we tend to uh, gather and hang out and talk about all things coffee. So today, you, you've probably seen on the news, I know I have, I watch the news every morning, and on the big news channels they're talking about cold coffee. Uh, and there's a lot of different types of cold coffee out there. You've heard cold brew, You've heard, heard iced coffee, there's nitrogen uh, infused coffee, uh, there's all kind of coffee drinks out there. I mean, you think about it, you go back, I don't know, just not that long ago, it was just regular or decaf, there was no options. Now you've got all the flavors that we tend to do here, which is about 70 flavors of coffee, and the list goes on and on. So today we're gonna talk for just a moment about cold brew and iced coffee, because they are two very different things. Uh, the first thing I wanna touch on is cold brew. Here at Door County Coffee, we actually sell a unit online, and you can see it online or even in the cafe if you happen to come up here to Door County, is the toddy system. The toddy system is probably one of the best systems we believe. This is how we do this in our cafe, except for the one we have here is, is quite big. This is just a little one for the house. But the way this works is you take a bag of coffee, and you put this in the, in the unit here, and you let, really, and you put the cold water in, and you let it steep for about 12 hours. So the way that it works, and all the instructions are here, I'm not gonna go through all the details, but the way it works is, you put the coffee in here, you let it steep, you do it at night, and really the next morning it's ready to go. This, compared to iced coffee, and the way a lot of people will do iced coffee at home, is they'll double strength brew coffee, which is how we suggest it. So you'll take the coffee, like a full pot bag that makes a pot of coffee, and use half the water. So instead of making 10 or 12 cups, do five to six cups. And that double strength coffee, you wanna put it in the fridge and let it chill. And the, really the difference you're gonna see between the two is the cold brew is gonna be less bitter. When you extract, when you do cold brew, it's gonna be less acidic and less bitter, whereas the hot brew is gonna just, it's just not gonna give you that smoother taste. It's good, both options are really good, but a lot of people tend to go to the cold brew because it's just got a less bitter, it's just so smooth. When you come to our cafe and get our cold brew coffee, that's how you're gonna get it here. But this is a pretty easy way to do it at home if you don't wanna get a toddy system, is just double strength brew it, chill it, and then put it, pour it over ice, and then hit it with cream. So we really have two different systems here. Oh, forgot to mention, there's a lot of people out there doing uh, these single serve cups for the Keurig brewers. One of the things that we suggest if you're trying to do uh, you know, iced coffee with this is you use the lowest setting. So if you've got a Keurig machine or a different type of machine, just use the less water so that you're getting the strongest brew possible. And then you wanna chill it or you can pour it over ice. Just no hot coffee over ice is just gonna melt the ice very quickly. So you wanna chill it. But that is one way you can do it if you have a Keurig machine. But quite honestly, we highly suggest most people at home have a regular brewer get regular coffee, brew it, and then chill it that way, because this is just not the most ideal way of doing it, but you can. Iced coffee, you know, when it's hot in the summer, and it does get hot all over the country in the summer, you take your iced coffee or your cold brew, this is some of our cold brew made right here in our cafe, and you just hit it with the cream, I tell you, when you hit this stuff with the cream, it just looks absolutely amazing. I'm sure you can see it, it looks at that marbling effect, and I tell you, it's one of the best tasting uh, drinks that you'll get all summer. You know, I love coffee. I drink five to seven cups of coffee minimum a day. And uh, I tell you what, this is a great option when it's hot outside, when you're taking and you throw it in the car and you get going down the road and you're sipping on this, it feels good. So cheers to everyone out there. You've got our cold brew coffee, the toddy system that you can get online or here in the cafe, or iced coffee that you can brew right at home as well and chill it. You've got two great options for the summer. So coffee cheers to everyone out there from Dora County Coffee.